right guys if you want to know how i make this video stay tuned check out this meat pie check this meat pie out so if you want to know how i make this video stay tuned i make two pan of this i also make this one also I also put some of the meat pie here and look You see it. See how the meat pie. You see, so soft, so soft. If you want to see how I make this video, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aya Betty. Please guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be making a meat pie, Nigerian meat pie. Here we have our flour. So you can see we have our flour. I will use this big spoon to measure it. Depends on how you want it. You can cook, you can make all of them if you want. But me, I'm just using like a four spoon. Four spoon of the powder. This is it. This is the one I will be using. A little bit. Let's say three spoons. I will be using. First, then we'll be needing sugar. Now, salt. We have our salt. One tablespoon and half, and we'll be needing our sugar also. We'll be adding four, uh, three of these also. Then we'll be adding our. I'll be adding baking powder. I'll just be adding just one because this is just one uh, one spoon of uh, baking powder. So I'll be adding one. Then you make sure you mix all the all the dry ingredients together. You make sure you mix them mix all together. Now I'll be adding uh, our butter. We'll be needing butter. I have this one before. This is just a little bit inside, and this one is the new one. I'll be adding the half one, and I will be taking from the new one also. Guys, yeah, stay tuned. So, guys, this is the butter we I had. So we'll be mixing it together. I'll just be starting it. Okay, let me just start it with a little bit spoon. Then we'll be mixing it together. Guys, stay tuned. So guys, after mixing it with the butter, it will look like this. And I'll be using three eggs. I'll be using three eggs, but you can use four, but I will be using three on mine. Then create a, a center and the pull it in. Then I'll be mixing it again. Then 
I'm going to mix this. So guys, as you can see, it red. It, uh, I miss it already. I miss it with the egg already, and I will be needing one cup of milk. It depends on the milk you have. So you can use cup milk, and you can use any type of milk. Me, I'm using, uh, I'm using just the uh, water milk. So I will be adding it. Some people do juice warm water. You can also use water if you want. But if I anytime I use milk and that come with good taste, that's why I love using milk. So if you want, you can also use water, warm water. So I'll be missing it again. Guys, stay tuned. So guys, our next step will be this. I'll I, I'll finish mixing it with the with the milk. Then our next step, I'll be putting it here. I'll be putting it here to use my my two hand to mix it. Then before I put it inside the fridge for about one hour to two hours, or one hour thirty minutes. I'll be missing it like this, but I'll be using my two hand because that's where I can miss it very well. So, guys, it's just like this. So, just like that. We are done like that. So guys, I will be leaving it in the fridge for one hour thirty minutes or two hours. So I change the bowl because this one is a bit messy, messy. So I will be using this one now. I'll I'll just put it in the fridge now. So guys, stay tuned. Hi guys. So when uh, the meat pie is already in the fridge and uh, we'll be making the carrot and potato sauce for the meat pie. Now we have a little bit of oil in here and uh, I'll be adding the uh, onions. I just have a little bit of onion to it. I'll be adding onions. And I will be adding the grounded meat now. So we allow this one to boil a little a little bit before we add the carrot and potato in inside. Before we we'll add it inside, then I will allow this one to boil a bit. Then before we we'll add that one inside, guys, okay, stay tuned. So guys, now I leave it for about two to three minutes, and now it's like this. Then I will be adding the uh, potato and the carrots now. I think this one is a little bit too small for it, so I have to change it so that 
I can be able to stir it very well. Guys, stay tuned. So guys, I just trained it now. So at this point, you'll be having your having. I will be having my CV. So you will be having anyone which you want. I'll be adding my nutmeg. So you can add the one you want at this point. You can add the one you want. This is not That's all. And I'll be stirring it. Over the water. <laughs> So it's better when it's cold. So do it like this. The perfect size. Then you take your you take your fake. You can also put it inside flower like this. Then you use it to close the mat very well. Make sure the mat is closed. It's very important. Make sure it's closed. 
make sure it's closed just like as i do this one now you can see the mouth is so close so make sure it's close like this so this is the gas stay to me so guys um i'm done with the rolling i have here i have one pan here which is five five and we have ten already here uh, we are, i was having a, a little bit more so i want to make it inside this place it's my first time actually for doing this but i know that it will work definitely so just look the way i make this also i make it this way but it's not my first time of doing meat by anyway i'll be doing meat by for long look at the way i just do this i make sure it will cut and i will just pull a little bit at the center then i will use another one that i have here to close the one i cut also before the one i put the meat i will just use my hand to close it just as i am using fake to do the first one i'll use my hand to make sure i close the mat very well and just like this i'll make sure i close the mat very well like this it's closed now you can see it for yourself it's closed the mat is closed then perfect the size you can see perfect size so it just remain a little bit this is how i will do the rest of it so stay tuned guys so guys as you can see i'm done with the rolling and you can see we have one uh one roll side also that i didn't put but we have about eight pieces here also so this actually is made this part is actually make, made for cookies but i want to try it with meat by today let me see it's my first time then i i break one egg and i'm going to be using the egg to rub it before i put it inside the oven just like this so i'm going to be leaving it in the oven for about 40 to 35 minutes but ah yes it's going to be 40 minutes so guys if you are new to my channel please just subscribe share with your friends share with families and make sure you give this video a thumbs up so if you have any question so or if you have anything to uh, tell me about this video drop your comments i love reading comments so drop your comments and sure you will get an answer to all your questions Got the answer to all your questions. Don't just wash and go, please. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Don't just wash and go. If you love what I'm doing in that place, just give me a thumbs up. When you come across the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share with families and friends. I will be putting it in the oven now. So guys, stay tuned. So guys, the small one is ready. So we still have the other one in the oven, but this one is ready. You see uh, i turn it upside down when i notice that the under is already uh brown then i have to turn it upside down this is how the thing looks now as you can see um, see it's oh you see how the thing look 
you see how the thing look so guys we still have the other one inside the oven so stay tuned guys and see the other one so guys this is the last one this is the last one so you gotta check it how did it how do you see this it looks so good i know it tastes so well because i taste the other one look so soft and so good thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in my next video bye, -bye.